morning. It's uh, Wednesday, the day before Maurice Gang. Um, I think it's about um, 13, no, it's definitely 14 days post chemo now. Um, and I've not done many blogs over the past few days just because I've been, I have been feeling a little shitty, but I'm okay. Um, I've started losing more of my hair, uh, which is beginning to make me feel less feminine now. And um, I'm finding that quite difficult. Um, you know, it's nice to have the smooth legs. Trust me, it's, it's lovely. But, um, you know, it's just... It's... Um, after the operation, I felt a bit empty and um, once I'd started chemo I felt even more empty but I am um, I'm starting to feel less feminine now and uh, you know that feel I used to feel um, well <laughs> this time last year I began to feel confident with myself for the first time in 36 years and I felt quite sexy and you know felt really pretty um, so for you know just a little under a year of, of my life I felt nice about myself I suppose I should be grateful about that really but right now I'm feeling very um I'm not loving myself at all. Um, I think it's just an emotion that goes with the process of the treatment, but in all fairness, I've never loved myself. I've never felt myself to be sexy and, and pretty and anything like that right up until this time last year. Um, so, it's probably got a lot to do with the way life has treated me as opposed to the way I've treated life but then again I do feel that, that a lot of this has happened to me because I've not treated life very well and I've taken things for granted and, um, and I think that plays with a big part on how the road to life goes for you and so I wanted to share that with you today um, just you know deal with things that happen and move on and don't set your standards too high in life because it's just a bigger fall and I think that's maybe what I've done most of my life is I've set my standards a little bit too high um, once I'd had Jonathan before that my standards were really low um, and at school I've got no self worth or self confidence um, so you know so yeah you need to it's the way you deal with things that happen to you in life really and perhaps I didn't deal with things as well as I thought I always have done and uh, this is kind of like my karma and I do believe in karma very strong believer in karma that everybody gets what's coming to them but right now I just I don't understand why this has happened to me and um, maybe I just became overconfident with myself this time last year <laughs> and I felt over sexy and you know I don't know but um, yeah you need to appreciate what life gives to you and you need to You always need family and 
I think it's important that no matter what happens between parents, you know, grandparents, you know, grandparents and aunties and grandparents and uncles and, you know, they, they always they always go through difficult spots and I found in my family is that sometimes the kids have been dragged into it, not directly, but the, you know, we've had to go without really and it's, it's ruined relationships with cousins and aunts and uncles and due to, to family arguments. What are them arguments for? You know, to prove what kind of point, really, seriously? Because it just doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter, you know. There's no bouquet hyacinth in life. Hyacinth bouquet. Miss Bucket. Mrs. Bucket. That doesn't really exist. No one's better than anyone. We're all the same. Um, apart from me, I'm always different and unique. <laughs> I'm not like anybody. So, I will um, blog again tomorrow. Bye for now.